Uh, all right, let's see what we have here. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, boy. Well, man, I can't wait. Nike got going on. Tiffany Hardaway, best player in bad. All right, I gotta show y'all what's in this box. You gotta be smart when you shop. Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop. Cause you probably will regret it. We say no synthetic. No synthetic. If they read it, we'll let you know what you should go and get them. We got fat, we got two. Never slack on the brew for OGs and the you. You can kick it with us too. Technology. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Keek Knowledge. I'm your boy, Truth. If this is your first time tapping into the channel, welcome. I appreciate you guys stopping by. You can be watching anybody else's content, but you chose to be right here. I appreciate you for clicking on this video. If you are a reoccurring subscriber, thank you guys so much as I use my platform to bring glory and honor to Christ. What I mean by that is, if you click on this link right here, you'll see two playlists, Word and Jays and Truth Tuesday, every Tuesday, every Sunday. I connect my love for sneakers with the Word of God to, to let you guys know that He loves to let you guys know that God loves each and every one of you guys. Scroll through some of the content. This is your first time viewing. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. We just hit 4K. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate it. The goal for 2021 is 10K, and I know we're going to hit that. I'm going to keep pumping out this content. You guys keep hitting that like button, comment, subscribing, and all those great things. Hit the notification bell. Follow your boy on IG, at Kicknology, and I'm going to continue to do my thing. Now that all that's out of the way, Let's hop into this unboxing. So it seems like over the last two, three weeks, I've been dropping nothing but a bunch of orange and white Nike boxes, giving you guys a lot of reviews of some OG sneakers from the 90s. Salute to Nike brand and a bunch of these other places, Reebok also, that's been bringing back a lot of the shoes that we seen in the 90s that I grew up with that kind of hit near and dear to here. They hit right here, you feel me? So whenever I walk into a store and I see some shoes that came out in 93, 94, back when I was young, you know, I had the waves and stuff like that. I feel like I have to cop it, and it makes me feel like a kid again. So it brings joy to me. So whenever I do these type of unboxings, whenever it's a 90s sneaker, you know what I'm saying? It means more than just, hey, it's another Jordan. So for everybody that's watching this video, because y'all want to see what's in this box when I say it's some 90s stuff, this shoe is still available in most sizes, and I will put the link down in my description section where you guys will be able to purchase a sneaker if you want it. You know what I'm saying? So you guys see right here, I'm wearing an Orlando Magic jersey, and it is the number one. If you don't know who that is, that is Anthony Hardaway or Penny Hardaway, whatever you want to call him. This is a guy that I really messed with before Kobe. So many similarities in their game. Uh, back when I had hair, I would put the one little part down the middle of my head at the front just like Penny. Penny. really want to be like Penny, but injuries really, really damaged this man's career. And we don't know how good he could have been, but when we did get to watch him, he was absolutely amazing. And he left a blueprint in the sneaker game. So today, we will be reviewing another OG 90 sneaker from an iconic basketball player, and that's Penny Hardaway. So today, it will be the Air Penny 3 in the black and blue colorway. So you guys can see right here, the price tag, it was 160 bucks. Y'all see right there, um, this is 11.5. I did go through the size on this sneaker, the Air Penny 3. And the color is black, black varsity, and royal. So let's do like we always do. You see that orange and white Nike box? We're going to open up that box, and we're going to peel back this paper. And you guys do see that Air Penny 3 right there in all of its vintage. Old school, Zoom Air Glory, man. Such a great sneaker to have, an uh, absolute dope sneaker to hoop in. Anybody that remember this sneaker growing up, this was a shoe that you had to have because of Little Penny in the commercials. Every Penny Hardaway you wanted because of Little Penny. Now, before we do a 360 view of this shoe, you know I don't give you guys too much specs, history, technology on a sneaker. I just, I just give you guys a very HD look, my personal opinion on a sneaker, where to cop the sneaker, stuff like that. But if you guys are looking for some stats, what Hardaway did, what players did in these shoes. Check out my guys at Crossover Kicks TV. 
J.O. and Kylie. That link is down in my description section. They did do a review on this shoe. It's a very dope review. They give you some story time with this sneaker. They give you the stat line with the sneaker. They give you the history of the shoe. So, I mean, like I said, go ahead and check them out down in the description section. Subscribe to their channel. Go support them. And yeah, man, let's go ahead and get off into this 360 view as you can see on the screen, starting with the booty of these things, man. The sneaker, this shoe released in 1997, if I'm not mistaken. Penny Hardaway was that guy, man. Man, such a dominant basketball player. Shoes were made for performance just for him on a basketball court. Nike knew how to do it right in the 90s. Yes, they were bulky shoes. These shoes were performance based. The air unit in them, the, the full zoom or half zoom, whatever it is that was in these shoes, the cushion and the support that they gave the athletes was beyond its time for back in the 90s. Definitely love this shoe. Such a dope sneaker. Um, the logos and everything about the shoe, the aesthetic of the sneaker is extremely fire. You guys, let me know down in the comment section. Do you remember this shoe? Do you like this shoe? Um, the thing about 90 shoes is that they are big and bulky. So a lot of people are not feeling some of the 90 basketball sneakers because they are a bulky shoe. A majority of the sneakers were highs and mid. I can't think of any low top 90 basketball sneakers. Hey, if, if I'm wrong, y'all comment down below and let me know. But let's go ahead and get up close and personal with these things like we always do. So let's go ahead and start with one of the most iconic things on this sneaker. And that's going to be that one cent mirror logo right there, as you guys can see. It is reflecting off of that. I don't know. See if I can get you guys a good picture. You see right there, it's that one cent. Um, and it is literally like a mirror. You can look at yourself in that one cent logo. And then on the back of it, we do have that air written on the booty. And let's see if we can knock the air out of this thing. Yeah, three smacks for the 90s, man. And then you got the air unit going all the way around that big air bubble, going all the way around the booty of this thing on the inner side of the shoe. Do have that Zoom Air in there, which is something that Nike really takes pride in. Very good performance when you see Zoom Air on a basketball sneaker. You got the little perforations here. You got some suede type material right here. The, the Royal Blue and Black pull tab for the Orlando Magic colorway. Like I said, you do have that bamboo system in it. I can say you go true to size on these things. Um, some people go a half a size up. It really doesn't matter if you use the laces or not because, I mean, you do have the elastic system in it, so it really is not going to make a difference. So really try to get your size. You got your, you got your Nike check on the tongue. On the inside of the shoe, like I said, you do have that booty in the inside. And then on the outside of the sneaker, we do have that black Nike check. And then you have this wave material. Makes that wave design right there. And then on the bottom, the most dopest part of the sneaker, you do have that the penny logo right there. The one cent logo, the Nike Air. And then you have the hints of this gel royal blue on there. And then it's just a crazy design on the sneaker, man. But yeah, you guys, let me know down in the comment section. How do you feel about this sneaker? Is it something that you want to pick up? 160 Every time they have restocked, they have sold out. Um, but like I said, right now it is a couple of sizes out there. This one came from Foot Locker. I know if you walk into the stores, a lot of the 90s heat are sitting. But trust me, all the 90s will eventually sell out. That's just the way it is. So yeah, man, if you are an OG sneakerhead or if you're just trying to get into it, I feel like you have to have some type of OG 90 basketball, football, Nike heat in your collection, man. So yeah, let me know down below how do you guys feel about this. And let me throw a couple of things for you to ponder. How good do you think Penny could have been if he wouldn't have got hurt? And do you think Shaq leaves the Orlando Magic if Penny wouldn't have never got hurt? Could they have beat the Bulls? Could they have beat the Bulls if they would have stayed together? Hey, we never know. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Rock what you like, not what's hype. Watch them hands, man. And remember, these shoes behind me, this shoe right here, they're just bait. A way for me to share my faith. You guys be blessed. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. Let's get to this on feet. Them hard, I should cop me a pair. Jordan ain't the only one that's an air. As I'm walking upstairs, I prefer that you follow me up there. But you still gotta know what you wear. I'm so glad I was spared, like the very last pair. When you walk into the mall and you think they ain't there. So you say a little prayer. You don't wanna be so vain, but if I get them in my hands, I'll give them the best care. Introducing a fresh new brand. Following the dreams. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean. If they're not Knowledge in your wall when you step on the scene. Technology hey, ain't hey, no apology. Hey, Don't make hey, it hard, man. Hey, it ain't trigonometry. Hey, you gotta be smart hey, when you shop. Hey, Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop. Cause you probably will regret it. Hey, we say no synthetic. Hey, no synthetic. Hey, if they ready, we'll let you know what you should go and get them. We got fat, we got two. We have a slack on the brew for OGs and the you. You can kick it with us too. Technology. We got fat, we got you, never
more slack on the proof for OGs in the U. You can kick it with us too. Kick knowledge, kick knowledge, kick knowledge, kick knowledge. We got fat, we got you. Never slack on the proof for OGs in the U. You can kick it with us too. Now, see, we got the answer, but faith is important. Okay. Bo knows the answer, taught us to cross Jordan. Okay. When we cross Jordan, the nation went bunkers, redeemed us, and now we compete under armor. Believers and warriors, golden like curry. Got favor, no worry. Just J up and bury. Just J up and bury. Come up and be faithful. But my brother still hit me for my Chuck Taylor. Technology, this is not a 